Me Donnie Group has showcased the SU57 on its 2024 to 2025 annual report, signaling its upcoming role in supplying raw materials for SU57 production at Hindustan Aeronautics Nashik facility. Zulu Defense's Volume 35 drone fired India's indigenous medium machine gun rounds with a 2 km effective range. After carrying out a joint naval exercise with the Greek Navy near Turkish waters, the Indian Navy's INS Trikan guided missile frigate has now arrived in Cyprus. The Indian Air Force has upgraded the electronic warfare suites on its fighter jets with seeker signatures of China's PL-15 missile, using electronic intelligence and recovered missile analysis, that will boost detection jamming and evasion capabilities. Pune-based drone Acharya has signed MOU with Thailand-based firm Avi Konex, to locally assemble drones in India. Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has reached Casablanca in Morocco, to inaugurate Tato Advanced Systems Limited's first overseas defence factory, which will manufacture the wheeled armoured platform. Maharashtra government has allotted 220 acre of land to solar defence for establishing a defense and aerospace manufacturing plant, with a proposed investment of 12,700 crore rupees. India is setting up a 30,000 crore rupees shipbuilding hub in Tuti Korin, with Cochin Shipyard Limited and Mazagin Dock shipbuilders jointly investing to expand capacity on the southern coast for both naval warships and commercial vessels. Dassault Aviation will deliver 18 Rafale F-4 fighter jets to India off the shelf in a short time frame, as part of the Indian Air Force's fast-track plan to finalize the 114 fighter jet steel by early 2026, while 96 aircraft will be assembled domestically with 60% indigenous content. The DRDO and the Indian Navy are gearing up to conduct a test of the ship-launched variant of the indigenous technology cruise missile later this year. The Indian Navy is expected to order around 200 land-based indigenous technology cruise missiles worth 5,000 crore rupees once trials conclude, with the ship-based version poised to further strengthen India's conventional deterrence at sea. The Indian Navy is set to issue a 80,000 crore rupees tender for four advanced landing platform docks, and leading contenders include Larsen and Tubro Mazagan Dock Shipbuilders Limited, Cochin Shipyard Limited, and Hindustan Shipyard Limited, likely partnering with global majors like Spanish Navantia French Naval Group and Italian Fincantieri. Hal Chief has confirmed that negotiations with General Electric for the F-414 engine production are in advanced stages, and that Government of India has mandated an ambitious 80% transfer of technology, though some components are under third-party intellectual property rights, and HAL and General Electric are working to resolve these gaps to ensure smooth transfer. Six negotiation rounds are complete, with another scheduled in the US in October 2025 to finalize scope timelines and costs. The Indian Navy and private sector companies l and and New Space Research are developing a compact uncrewed surface vehicle with folding fins and a collapsible mast that can be launched from standard 533mm torpedo tubes for Project 75i, Project 76 and Project 77 submarines to extend intelligence surveillance reconnaissance and electronic warfare. Hindustan Aeronautics will soon place a $1 billion order for 113 F-404 engines to power 97 new Tejas Mark 1A jets, and with this fresh deal, India will become the largest user of the F-404 in Asia. For the first time, the Indian Air Force and General Electric will directly handle spare procurement, while a new MRO facility is being set up in India with private companies, to ensure faster servicing and lower costs. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.